Welcome back mentors. Any success story begins with a goal. Goals give us direction and help us achieve our vision. Those who have a goal and regularly monitor their progress towards their goal perform better. In this video, we will learn about how you can set goals for yourself as a mentor teacher. When students move ahead with learning gaps, they not only lose interest in the subject, but also lose their confidence. Learning is enhanced if students love the subject, they don't fear it, and when they take accountability of their own learning. Keeping this in mind, Khan Academy is here to support you in improving student learning outcomes and removing the fear of math in students. It is with this objective that we want to provide a free, world-class education to anyone, anywhere. If you want to achieve this vision for your students, then you will need to set two concrete goals for yourself and commit to working towards those goals. Our first goal is to ensure that all our teachers and our students have access to Khan Academy. As a mentor teacher, essentially, I need to ensure that two things happen. One, 100% of my teachers have created their Khan Academy teacher accounts. And two, all our students have access to Khan Academy. For this, we will need all our teachers to create their classes on Khan Academy, add all their students to the class and support the students in activating their accounts. Here's a summary of how our first goal would look like. Goal one, provide Khan Academy access to all teachers and students. For this, all teachers will need to create their teacher accounts on Khan Academy. All teachers will need to create their classes on Khan Academy. And then all teachers will need to add their students to these classes. All students will need to have received their Khan Academy login ID and password from their teachers and activate their accounts by logging into Khan Academy. You will need to continuously monitor progress on each of these steps and support your teachers wherever needed to achieve this goal. As we work on providing access to our students, we will also need to monitor how many of our teachers and students are using Khan Academy. This is because our ultimate goal is to improve student learning outcomes and we will not be able to achieve it if we stop at providing access. It is very important for you to know that students who spend at least 30 minutes each week practicing on Khan Academy have shown improvement in their learning outcomes. So our second goal is to increase the percentage of students who study more than 30 minutes per week on Khan Academy. Let's understand this goal a little better. Suppose at present, 30% of your students are studying for more than 30 minutes a week on Khan Academy. You could set a goal to gradually increase this usage to 50% of students and then increase this to ensure that 100% of your students are using Khan Academy for 30 minutes per week. To track progress towards this goal, you should weekly review the data available to you and identify schools or teachers who need your support. There might be issues related to availability of devices, internet speed, or there may be gaps in a teacher's understanding. In previous videos, we've discussed the specific support you can provide to teachers based on the implementation model that they've chosen for their class. Remember to set a clear timeline for each of your goals. Before moving to the next video, we recommend you review the data for your set of schools. Based on the current data, set specific goals that you want to achieve for both access and use. You can break each of these down further into what you want to achieve in the next seven days, one month, and so on. Once you've set the goals based on the data available, it is time for you to stay connected with teachers. Help them resolve challenges, acknowledge their efforts, so that you can see progress.